Good morning from Milano. What's on my mind this morning is making assumptions and jumping to conclusions. And here's why. I've talked to at least four or five different people over the past 10 days who have shared stories of various nature and they all come down to some form of frustration, hurt feelings, irritation over someone speaking too much or not saying enough. And there were a couple of through lines to the stories that caught my attention. One is that all of them were stories about family members, not friends, but family members, spouses, siblings, nieces and nephews, in-laws. That was one piece of it. And the other piece is that all of these stories, when they came full circle, boiled down to the same thing. The person who had shared the story with me had made assumptions and jumped to conclusions. And while, of course, making assumptions and jumping to conclusions happens to all of us in all areas of our life, this kind of called my attention because, interestingly, the people with whom we are closest and most connected, whether we like it or not, our family, seem to be the people that trigger us the most. And I don't know. I guess what struck me is that, you know, when something goes wrong in a family, when there is an illness or an accident or something bad happens, we have seemingly endless reserves of time, generosity, and love. Yet with these very same people, our emotional strings are so tightly strung on a day to day basis. And we get frustrated. Our feelings get hurt. There's tension. There's misunderstanding. And I guess one thought led to the other. And I was thinking, wow, with children, people have endless reserves of patience and tolerance and tenderness. And in fact, when things go sideways with our children, our first thought is, hmm, I wonder what's going on. Yet when it comes to our immediate family members, including our parents, we tend to make assumptions, and jump to conclusions. And when things come full circle and calm down, I can see that had the person brought that same patience or curiosity, that, hmm, I wonder what's going on there, to the situation, they might just have saved themselves unnecessary frustration and hurt feelings. And trust me, I do know that that's easy to say when you're on the outside looking in. And I'm only offering this up because I've seen it happening around me over and over again of recent. With our friends and our colleagues, we tend to be less tightly strong. The, the cadence and the ebb and flow of communication is different. We tend to be on high alert with our family members. And it's helpful when we can catch ourselves making assumptions and jumping to conclusions. That's all. I'll leave you with that thought for today. Until next time from my heart to yours.